guys, I'm back, and uh, I'm finally finished assembling it. Uh, I assembled it a month ago. So here it is, the 2012 uh, Toys R Us exclusive Millennium Falcon in the retro uh, 1979 Star Wars Kenner packaging. Now the box is under here, and it, when I got this mail to my house, it was even in the factory like shipping box that they would ship these out in, which so... It, it keeps the uh, actual toy packaging really nice. Um, so, yeah, this is it. Um, one of the largest pieces I think Hasbro has ever done. Um, also, just beautiful um, retooling. Um, I do have one complaint, just one, and I will get to that near the end of the video. So, let's just dive right in. So, it has an on and off switch, which is really cool. Um, it takes... Uh, I think double A batteries or triple A batteries. I don't remember, but they go in here. Um, also, there's no battery part compartment over here like on the older Falcons before this retooled version. Um, also, the cool thing is you don't have to put on a lot of decals. Most of the decals go inside and in the cockpit, so you don't have to worry about like on the older ones with the decals falling off or whatnot. They're all painted, which I just think saves you, like, so much stress and, you know, it, it doesn't really affect the condition that much when, you know, a collector would want to buy this piece. So, anyways, that's a really cool feature. Um, also, I want to get into the electronics, my favorite part. So, um, oh, I turned it off. So, on. So, let me show you the first thing. This is the quad laser cannon. Now... On the ones before this, it was just a molded piece, um, and you would move it around by hand. Now it has like a lever that you push, and uh, here's how it works. So what you do is, you, you pull this leather, and it hits the sides of these, and it shoots out the missiles. So as you can see, it shot the missiles. Um, another cool feature that I like, which didn't really have really any cool purpose like on the original ones this actually has a separate thing that turns for the um, training ball which they added back um, I think the last time they had a training ball for a Falcon was on the original 1979 so this was a cool touch to kind of throw back um, and also on the original 1979 versions um, very rare piece to find with the ship itself always gets lost or there's a repro of it a reproduction so um also this is really cool uh -huh. the um game table lights up with the blast shield, that and I you have see. some I'll lines from the, the new hope you see you can do it um another cool feature is sorry it's dark over here um, this door opens up. You could put storage in it. And so another cool thing is, is what they did. They completely retooled this whole thing. All of this area used to be over here on the older ones. Um, they did leave some things obviously intact, like the landing ramp where it is and so forth. Um, also, this is really cool. Um, these are the missiles. So... Uh, it comes with three. This is really cool. Actually, they shoot really far. Um, quite surprisingly. Now, this is honestly my favorite feature on the whole ship. Um, it, it's just, it's so cool. And I'm going to show it to you. I mean, how cool is that? Um, you have this battery operated um, landing gear that, that goes down and you don't have to worry about these breaking because they're connected and they're the whole part of the mechanism now. So that's another cool thing. So you don't have to f worry about the um, landing hatch falling off or cover or door or whatever you can call it. Now here's another feature that's pretty cool. Um, these are the guns. And it lights up. They added, I think, the light-up feature about 10 years ago on the original Trilogy collection. Now, another cool feature is... I don't know if I could do it, but 
underneath the ship, you have a quad cannon. Uh, it doesn't shoot or anything, but um, it's just a cool thing to that they added. But now, let me see if I could get this down. Uh, let me see if I could. I did. Awesome. So, this is awesome. This is the little cannon that they used in The Empire Strikes Back. And, um... It shot the snowtroopers when they were trying to escape Hoth. Let me see if it shoots. Uh, oh, it has a really tiny. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So, that's a, another cool feature that I, I thought was great. Um, and then in here is uh, my, some of my original Empire Strikes Back figures from the 80s. And... Uh, it has the startup problem from the Empire Strikes Back, like in the ship, or the reenactment. This is really cool. So this is honestly an awesome ship. I'm gonna actually turn on the, off the lights so you can get a night. This is so cool. Um, so yeah, this is all the features that it could do. Um, now, you could fit figure stands in here. I I got this once again. You know, I didn't want to rebuy the original Millennium Falcon from the the late '70s because there's just so many problems with them now, um, and they're very hard to find in really good condition. And it's still a popular ship to try to get the original one. So I bought three hundred dollars for this, and it, it was an awesome in, investment. Um, so here's my complaint: uh, the seats, some of them have stress marks on them. Um, so my assumption is, which is that they should have made these better. Now, I, that's my only complaint for Hasbro, and this actually almost broke. I was trying to assemble the shift. I caught it, and my finger almost broke off this arm, and it didn't break at all. Thank God it didn't go all the way through or the stress went all the way through because that would have been a big problem since these seats do not come out. Um, I'm not sure if they come out, but I'm pretty sure they don't. But that's my only problem with the ship, but it shouldn't hurt the value at all because this one already has one, and I'm pretty sure people are well aware, and it's not something that is worth replacing because um, honestly plastic does eventually you know stress and change colors over time so but I don't think on this but definitely these seats they did not design them very well um, which comes to my next conclusion this is honestly a great collector's piece I think any collector should have this definitely not a kid's toy I mean why it's just too nice of a ship. Um, it's it's really, it would be too heavy for a kid to kind of move around. And, um, you know, there's so many of the other older Falcons out there um, before they made this um, that you could get from um, Hasbro, like the obviously the Power of the Force one, the original trilogy. They released this again for uh, Revenge of the Sith line. So... This is honestly an adult piece. I mean, it's just so nice. You, you wouldn't want to see this get all scuffed up and everything. Um, you know, but this is so great for a collector who has the vintage toys from the 70s and 80s and, you know, doesn't want to spend the money on, on an original one or doesn't have the money to. This is the piece to get. Um, and on eBay, I'm telling you, I've never seen a modern Star Wars toy sell so quickly on eBay and the value just keeps on going up on these pieces and they're they're this particular version of it is only two years old. So I could just imagine what it'll be in five years. Um but it'll be definitely worth it. Um so go out, buy this. Um you know that's my only complaint as I said with the seat, but you know what? Hasbro did a kick ass job with this. Um, we should be thanking them for really going out of their way and really putting in the time and effort for giving us something that we've been waiting for for 35 years. Um, and, you know, for something like this, I mean, this was a big, 
awesome gift from Hasbro in 2012. So, my last thing as I'm done praising this item. This is a cool feature that they also added is this escape pod. Now, it's probably an expanded universe thing Hasbro added, um, you know, but this shoots too. So, I gotta say, for this item, the spring projectile system is flawless. I mean, these missiles shoot far, and, you know, usually with these missile projectile fingers, they don't really shoot far, or, you know, but this shoots far, um, and that's really cool. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I really hope Hasbro really eventually, you know, comes out with some vehicles that, you know, need a retool or, or you know, has cool features like this. So, um, Hasbro, thank you. And, uh, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos.